One of the most valuable tools I have learned how to use is something called a treasure map. I learned how to use a treasure map first in the book, The Energy of Money. It's an excellent book. It's about how learning how to cultivate money and to attract it to yourself will help you achieve any goal. The book advises us to create these treasure maps, which are basically collages. You put, you get a collage board or a piece of construction paper, and then you clip out everything that reminds you of your goal. And then on top, you put the date you want to achieve it by, and you want to write your goal out in affirmative terms, it says, and then it tells us to make everything associated with it as possible, and the date is very important, it says. The first time I used this tool was going to Africa the first time. I wanted to get to Mabani, Swaziland, and I'm happy to say the treasure map helped me achieve at least part of my goal. I made it to Swaziland before June, and my goal was to make it to June, in June 14th, 2008. I've also used this for political purposes. Now I have created another one for my travels for the biggest journey in my life so far. Now I'd like to show you what one of these look like. It On the top it says May 30th, 2010. It says I am visiting Zimbabwe, Reunion Island, Island Botswana, Lesotho, Namibia, Cape Town, Zambia, Malwe, Madagascar. On the bottom, you will see there's various things associated with Africa, pictures I have clipped out, the term Africa, maps I've gotten. I use National Geographic. The date is when I want to achieve this. My One of my goals of traveling there is to visit as many countries as possible. I already visited Swaziland and South Africa, and I definitely like to go to those places again. Getting there alone is not going to be an accomplishment. I only need to do more. I didn't go to Cape Town last time, even though that's in South Africa. I still want to go there. I heard a lot of great things about that place. I have been to mostly Durban and Johannesburg in South Africa. Now it's very possible I'm not going to get to all of these countries, but I want to put them on there just in case. Malwe and Madagascar is pretty much a long shot. The Sutu is reasonable. The other ones are fairly reasonable as well, except Reunion Island. And there's other countries such as Mozambique I want to visit as well that aren't on there. I'm hoping to, in my six months there, visit as many countries as possible. We'll see how it goes. I imagine it will go well, but you can't guarantee that. I encourage you to use treasure maps. I have found them very valuable, even with political things where I haven't achieved my humongous goals. They have helped me get far. In that book, The Energy of Money, it says this is like your contract with the universe. Indeed, that's what it is. It's also an exchange where you can't get something for nothing. You have to do something in order to reach your goals. The treasure map in that book, Energy of Money, is there, it says, to show you how to get to your goals in different ways. And that's why it says you do not want to write on there or take things off the computer because it wants the process of getting all the words and all the concepts on there to start your mind thinking of ways outside the box to get to your goals, which you haven't gotten to before. And indeed, I found that very powerful. Sometimes there'll be certain letters you won't be able to find, and then you'll have to make them out of numbers or turn other letters around, and that's a really good mental process to get into. And I've definitely seen that with the political stuff. What I thought was the way to get people interested into achieve political goals 
was not necessarily the way, and this was in so many different variations. That would be another talk or two or five or ten all alone of what I learned from the political treasure maps. I learned a lot from the last visit to Africa, and I imagine I'll learn a lot more. One thing I found is interesting is you learn things before you even go there. You prepare yourself, and then you get ready, and interestingly, when you're reading about things, thinking about things, you're already learning things. So much of the part of learning is done before you even go. And interestingly, this refers to the spiritual law, law of reversibility. Wayne Dyer talks about, I don't know who discovered it or invented it or even named it, but that law says you have to be something before you get it. A common example they give is you have to be rich before, you have to act like you're rich before you actually become rich. And indeed, that is very true. I've seen that with money and myself. I'm improving with money. I'm very happy to say that. I'm not 100% there, but I'm getting farther and farther along. And I've seen myself improve in other ways. Treasure maps are an awesome thing. I have used them and I continue to use them. I hope to use them many times in the future because I've seen few other things as powerful as they are.